yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a scolding today. I'm so tired of hearing people come up with this argument, which is just ridiculous. So what am I talking about? Which argument are people making? Usually the average fan who probably does a little martial arts. That just blows my mind. They compare the negative things that somebody like John Jones, Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz, lots of other fighters who, you know, drink, do weed, other drugs. And they're like, look at these guys. They're doing great. They're doing great. So why do I need to worry about being like super monk-like, you know, maybe cut out alcohol, be on point with my diet, do all these extra things. It's like the weakest argument ever, but people justify it so they can continue going about this mediocre quality of life in terms of preparing for upcoming fights. Why does this make no sense? Well, you don't have a scale for how good these fighters, John Jones, Nate Diaz, might be if they took everything completely 100% serious. How much better would they be? Obviously, they're already amazing. We know that. We know they're amazing. But if you are a fighter who's upcoming and you don't really know your skill level yet, you don't know that you're one of the top 10 in the world in your division, well, you should be striving to take advantage of every extra little bit that you possibly can, whether that be cutting out alcohol, getting proper sleep, obviously not doing drugs, cleaning up your diet, all these things might matter a percent or 2% or cutting out something like cigarettes or weed might be 10% increase in cardio, maybe even more. I know people used to say like, oh, Joe Schilling smokes cigarettes before the fight. Yeah, he does. I've seen him. I've been there um, and seen him coming out of the backstage just with that, that smoke coming off him. Could he have been a better fighter without cigarettes? Maybe, maybe. Does cigarettes make you slightly worse? Probably. Again, it's small, but all of it together adds up. And when you are stepping in the ring and you're putting so much at risk, right? It's not just like, oh, you know, I win the fight, I lose the fight. A lot of times for people, victory is tied up in like the ego which they can build for themselves, not ego in a negative way, but like self-confidence can be built up from that. Some people lose so much confidence when they are defeated in a fight. Some people gain massive amounts of confidence. They can do great things from that. Um, there's so many elements that can send you down a spiral if you're not victorious and you put your heart and soul into something. But let me tell you, you're not truly putting your heart and soul in something if you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do 90% of this stuff, but I see this top level fighter over there. He's doing these things that I know are bad, but he's still successful. For, so I'm gonna use him as a scapegoat and I'm not gonna take this completely serious. And yes, there are times you're gonna have to ease back. I learned that throughout the years. You cannot be perfect. Nobody can be perfect. If you wanna be perfect, you wanna go and make yourself a machine. What do you have to do? Like not compromise anything. You basically have to get the perfect amount of sleep. You have to wake up, eat the perfect food, go do like a two, two and a half hour training session. Make sure you get your stretching and stretching and come back. Perfect nutrition, go for a nap, go into another training session, probably spend the rest of your day outside of that doing recovery things like ice baths and physiotherapy, nighttime, you, you can't do too much. Like obviously you need a little joy in your life, but if you really wanna be the perfect machine, you're not gonna enjoy your life in my opinion. You gotta find some way, some balance to make sure that okay, I'm pushing myself hard, but I'm still giving myself joy in life, but joy in life does not need to be things that people make excuses for. Like, oh, you know, I'm gonna go smoke before my fight, or I'm gonna drink excessively between fights. Does it matter again? I don't know. I don't know what percentage it declines you, but I know it's not helping you. I know that. There's never gonna be science to say that drinking alcohol or smoking weed before a fight or in training camp is gonna help you. So guys, stop using that as an excuse. You either wanna take it seriously or you don't. 
If you want to take it serious, that's great. Get in there, push hard, make some sacrifices. I can tell you from over a couple decades now, when I had my first fight in 2006. I had my first fight in 2006. Yeah, so we're closing in, coming up within about a year and a half. It's early 2006, so in about a year and a half, 20 years. Do I sit around and regret the times that I didn't get high or got really drunk? Would I sacrifice that for my glory belt, for my Bellator belt? Because keep in mind, you know, some fights are razor close. Like when I won my second glory belt, that was a razor close fight. I won by like a point on the scorecards. And, and would I take that and give away that belt for something that you're probably not even going to remember 10 years down the road? I'm going to remember that glory belt for the rest of my life. I know that. I'm going to be proud of it. And yeah, this is just my... My little message today for the people out there who are like, yeah, well, you know, John Jones does it and Nate Diaz does it and they're still successful. Oh, good. You're able to trans transfer yourself into their body and be a champion like that. <laughs> so that's my little rant for today. Anyway, I'm just hanging out in uh, Vancouver. going to go and do some video game work tomorrow, help, uh, help create a game. Can't give details on it, but always have fun doing that. And then um, have more videos for you videos for you guys this week. Back in training camp, so pushing hard. Hopefully, I have some good stuff for you. Train hard, guys. I always say it at the end. I know it becomes repetitive. You're like, oh yeah, train hard, but train hard. Take it serious. Unless you're just doing this as a hobby, and then just have fun. But if it's a fight life, you got to train hard. <laughs>